Good morning, Wisconsin. Good morning, world. It's a new day. Thanks for kicking it off with us right here at WFHR, locally grown radio. Got your host, James J. behind the mic. I am joined by our head of news, Melissa K. Good morning. Our head of production, Seth Habhagger. Good morning. And our head of everything else, all of you. Thanks so much, everybody, for joining us. We hope you're having a great one out there. Happy hump day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We got good stuff coming up for you in a little bit we're going to get into. We'll go over our middle age quiz. We'll uh, get the numbers from that and uh, get the important data to you on that one. Uh, we've got a bunch of new emojis coming up. And uh, we've got some a bunch of that. Like a couple of that ain't right stories I got to touch on. There, there's some good ones here I want to get to. So all right. with all that coming up, we kick things off with a little entertainment news. Songs from artists like Taylor Swift, Lady Gaga, and Drake might be disappearing from TikTok today. Oh, okay. Universal Music Group says it will pull its song catalog uh, today after failing to come to a fair licensing deal with TikTok in regards to artist pay, protecting artists from AI, and online safety for users. They even posted an open letter. Quote, TikTok proposed paying our artists and songwriters at a rate that is a fraction of the rate that's similarly situated major social platforms pay. Ultimately, TikTok is trying to build a music-based business without paying fair value for the music. That's not okay. Universal also added that TikTok currently accounts for about 1% of the revenue. Hmm. Mm. Wow. Now, that that may not seem like much, 1%. Obviously, it is not uh, mathematically much. But that 1% is growing. And it's growing, Mm -hmm. and it's going to continue to grow. And I would put my name on it that by this time next year, that is much higher. And mm-hmm. in the year in 2026, it's going to be higher. In 2027, it's going to be higher. In and so all likelihood, on. yeah. Now, there's going to be other apps to come out, and there's going to be other avenues that mm-hmm. come from those and everything. But right now, in this day and age, if I am starting out, if I'm in my if I'm in my teens, I'm in my 20s, and I'm, I'm a struggling artist, or I, I'm a musician, and I want to get out there, one of the, the first things I'm doing, one of the first things I'm doing mm-hmm. is creating a TikTok page. Mm-hmm. There, there are at least uh, twenty to thirty artists right now that have record deals because of TikTok. That's right. Uh, yep. I, 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 I think that this is um, this is something that's got to get evened out and figured out, and it's got to get figured out quick mm-hmm. because um, we we can't let this happen to the art community. We can't let this happen to the art world any more than we can let it happen to our, our middle class. Or, or, well, okay, actually, I'm sorry, everybody. There used to be this thing called middle class. Um, <laughs> it, it, was, it was this. Uh, we, do, we need an explainer for that now, don't we? We, we kind of do. We kind of do. Uh, there's, a, there's a group of people out there <laughs> under 30 who probably don't even know what middle the class what? is. You know, the, yeah, the people that used to be able to uh, buy a home, not just dream about it, but actually yeah. do mm-hmm. it. Yeah. yeah. Without making a hundred hundred and twenty hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year you know you could do it at one time if you are not an artist if you are not a creative if you don't know anybody in this world and you don't seem to care about people in this world you should because it does Do you affect listen you. To music. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have you ever listened to music? Have you ever been entertained by entertainment or anything like that? Those are good notes, but it's also noteworthy that other companies and other jobs in other fields use the entertainment industry all the time as an example. Mm-hmm. That's true. And and that example, uh, t- it lowers the bar for everything else. Oh, I can point to this and, and, and make an excuse for treating my employees horribly or doing this badly or something. Right, right. And I, I do want to make sure that everyone realizes, too, that, yeah, in this case, you know, it's Universal Music that's doing it. Now, Universal Music is not doing this to be nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No. This, or to their art, they're actually using their artists in a kind of a – yucky way here because they're saying oh artist royalties this kind of thing remember universal music is one of the owners of spotify yeah spotify does not is horrible at paying royalties all of the streaming services are terrible for artists okay and that's because there's a basically a monopoly in in music there's three giant companies that basically have all the music right now and they dictate the terms so yeah they're not wrong okay what they're saying about tiktok yeah they're not wrong but at the same time they're doing it because yeah, so they can get more money for right, themselves. Right. Yeah, we're, we're we're talking about the lesser of two evils in right. some ways here. And oh, wait a minute, that sounds like politics. Oh that, no, <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, I this matters. Mm-hmm. It matters. Mm-hmm. I, I think that anybody forget about the industry or any of those things. Do you believe that people should get paid their worth? 
Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, it comes down Paid to that. For what they do. For yeah. their work. It's work. Artists work too. It's not... It's not like they're. This is this is it's it's their job. It doesn't matter. They do. Appear. Yep. I would love to see. You know, I remember years back when uh, Madonna started her Maverick label, mm-hmm. and and there was some talk of of uh, you know artists having control and artists having you know a lot of these things. And I believe she sold it since then and everything. Oh yeah, it's owned by a big group. Um, now, yeah. yeah, but I I would love to see an actual artist who has some clout, who has some power, actually create a record label. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And 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 do this right because I feel like Taylor it's the only. <laughs> yeah, uh, do it's gonna it. Have Taylor. to be someone who has that much power. Yeah, yeah, yeah do it. Uh, and, and not that that young lady doesn't have enough on her plate already. Uh, but let me just add one more thing to it and everything. But uh, you know, say hey, save music while you're at yeah, it. Yeah, um, <laughs> but she's young enough to do it though. That's the thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. and, and and to Seth's point, and, and I think what you were touching on too, Melissa, about her her clout and her power and where mm-hmm. she is she's in status and everything. Um, there's. It's interesting how much she can skew things in a positive. Mm-hmm. And it's not on her to do that. That's not her responsibility by any means. Not really. But it would be cool to see an artist do that and start creating that. Mm-hmm. Um, I would like to see um, some of these uh, executives, some of these people actually have to work for their money. Actually yeah. have, to, have to do something for their money <laughs> instead of just sitting there and stealing from other people. Ooh, that's a good way of putting it. What are you talking about? They work for their money. They <laughs> find talent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't need them anymore. We don't need them. Do you? Nope. Do you? Um, uh, so, Melissa, I know you, you couldn't care less about sports, but uh, you know Super Bowls and how big it is and everything, and commercials during the Super Bowls. Have you ever gotten into that part of it at all? Like, the, do you get into the commercials part of things? Not really. I mean, yeah. I will watch them if I have to, but I'm not going to go out of my way to do it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, it, it makes sense, and I think that there's yeah. a lot more people like that than not, uh, especially when it comes to this the uh, sports in general. But with the Super Bowl and in the commercials. That are in the Super Bowl, that has always been kind of one of those things that brings uh, e- even your fringe fan or your f- your unfan into the game and gets yeah. them interested. Uh, it was kind of like a, a it was one of those things a, a, another time, if you will, where you didn't know what the Super Bowl ads were going to be, and so you were as excited about that as you were sometimes the game itself. Mm-hmm. And oftentimes, probably more. Yeah, well, in a lot of in a lot of respects, yeah. To that point, Melissa, uh, oftentimes the Super Bowl is a uh, you know a blowout. <laughs> Or something. Yep. So you are looking forward to the commercial breaks. It's just something to keep you interested in the game and, and, and enjoy. Teams over yeah. There. Yeah. No kidding. Well, we're going to talk a little Super Bowl ads here in a second. First, let's take a call. Good morning. You're uh, what's on your mind? Hi. Um, this is Alice. I'm calling from Milwaukee. I've talked to you before. I just wanted to. You, you were talking about artists who um, self-produce or self-promote. Uh, and record their own work, you know, in basically indie artists. You have a really interesting artist whose name is Janet Planet up in your neck of the woods mm-hmm. who does the, that very thing. Yeah. She nice. and her husband have a recording uh, studio called Steel Moon Recording, I think. Mm-hmm. And um, she has done her own production. She got tired of... of, of uh, the music industry, pretty much scarfing up all the profits. Mm-hmm. And um, she started producing her own records years ago, like I'm thinking 25 years ago. And if you go to her website, JanetPlanet.com, you will see that almost all of her uh, recordings, which are 20 plus recordings, she's a jazz artist. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. 20 oh, nice. plus recordings have been um, produced and um uh, recorded by her and her husband in their their own studio. They're um, That's cool. they're wonderful. Uh, it, it, I, 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 there are a couple of people, to be honest with everybody, look behind the curtain a little bit. I've been trying to get on director's cut. Um, they, 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 oh, they that do, would be great. Yeah, they do I'd really good work. Ah, mm-hmm. uh, and we'd love to have them, and uh, we're hope, yep. we're planning on it. Uh, and it, that that is a great note to mention them. I I appreciate you calling up and bring, sending a shout out to them. They deserve it, mm-hmm. and and you deserve it. Thank you so much <laughs> for the call. Thank you. You have All a great right. morning. Thanks a lot. Awesome. Take,
You call up. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. You, you call up anytime. You yeah. Best listeners in radio. Yeah. This is why I say it. You guys, you guys give me a chance to say that all the time. It's great. But you make me right. And God, that feels good. <laughs> oh, that feels nice. I'm not right very often. It's nice. <laughs> um, so uh, we're talking uh, and, and, and mm-hmm. support them. Uh, find out about uh, more about them. Steel Moon Recording. You just throw that in your search bar and you'll be able to find them very, very easy. Very cool. Yeah. Uh, and if you are a lover of jazz, uh, you're really going to enjoy them. But mm-hmm. buy local, support local, and that includes the arts, everybody. Mm-hmm. And uh, be on the lookout. Might be on Director's Cut sometime coming up. Uh, so we were talking Super Bowl ads, and back in the day, you used to be surprised. You didn't know what ads were coming. Yep. But the uh, w- the the rise of price that it costs to uh, afford these ads, uh, it became more and more uh, dicey. And all yeah. of a sudden, it became more and more about well, if if I if I if I swing and miss. Not only is it costing me millions and millions of dollars, but it gives me bad PR. It doesn't go over well. The the idea of um, you know no news is bad news has kind of faded. That's really not the case anymore. Mm-hmm. Um, so now, to all, in order to make sure that they get as much money as they can out of these, for one, they're going to start they start releasing them sooner so they can get more plays out of them. Sneak yep. peeks yep. and sneak peeks and yes, uh, more to, value, yeah, more value, and to see, hey, do you guys like this or yep. not? What, yeah, do, what yeah. do you guys think of this? Previews, one? yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you actually want to try to pay all this money and air this? Yeah. They are doing the exact same thing that that the movie industry is doing. Has done for years. Yeah. 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 Com- t- a commer- the Super Bowl commercials have turned into that. That's yep, they what's have. happened. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so with that, they've got a bunch of ads already released. Kate McKinnon and Pete Davidson appear in a Hellman's Mayonnaise ad that pokes fun at Pete's dating history. Um, <laughs> I just like those two working is, together. Is, is that all Pete does anymore is commercials? I, I, I feel what's, like What else is, is he I, doing? I, no, he's got it. He's a good actor. He should I know, be out there he acting. Is. David and Victoria Beckham are pretty funny in a teaser for Uber Eats. Uh, <laughs> okay. That's another ad that's going to be out there. Interesting. Uh, and, and there's a bunch more coming, of yeah, course. Yeah, of course. Um, but yeah, that's uh, one of those more interesting things coming up out there. And I wanted to wrap up uh, the segment with uh, the Grammys. In recognition of the Grammys on Sunday, all right, call up 715 424 2600. Did you know the Grammys are this Sunday? I think we mentioned it on Monday, so okay, that's uh, the maybe. only reason I knew. That's it. That's I saw it. an ad too, but mm-hmm. I don't. I don't remember the date. We talked about it, but I forgot <laughs> already. <laughs> Uh, so, with that being on Sunday, let's share uh, love to our favorite artists who yet to who have yet to win a Grammy. Mentalfloss.com put together a list of uh, 35 popular Grammy list artists. Actually, on the Sunrise Show, we talked about this with country artists okay. uh, who haven't won. And there is a big list here, so we're just going to kind of go through 20. Um, and I'm going to go through a couple of names quick, and then you guys give me your feelings on those. Sure. Tupac, Snoop Dogg, uh, Sia, uh, Rush, and Queen. Wow. Yeah. Uh, See, I should win one. Yeah, yeah. I, um, I, I'm a, a, the Tupac. I think Tupac was the greatest rapper of all time. I'm, I'm just going to put yeah, that out right, there. I think right. Easily the greatest rapper of all time. Um, so I think, and and Snoop with his. I'm a little surprised with the Snoop one because he's worked in so many different genres. genres. Yeah. yeah, I think he's been nominated for several of them, but he hasn't won. Snoop is one of those artists that has literally a hit record in almost every category. He's got a a, 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 a religious contemporary album. He's got a, a reggae album. Like he's been in almost literally almost he's every. Done a Children's album. album too, hasn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Really? He's yeah. on a kid's show. Yeah, that's uh, right. <laughs> like, uh, the, what is it? The bots or whatever the um, the think bots or something? Oh, story bots. Story bots. Yes, he was on that. Oh, show. Yeah, I like story bots. <laughs> I like a good that. show. It's that's very a funny. good show. Story bots is awesome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, Rush not getting on there is a little, a that's little surprising. A little surprising, considering their body of work. Now they're they're not they're not doing anything anymore. They're basically um, the defunct or not defunct, retired. Let's yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. But they had a long career. So, but Queen, Queen is. Whoa. Shocking almost. That surprised yeah. me. That, yeah. I didn't know that one. In sync, Nicki Minaj, Lana Del Rey, and Kiss. Okay. Oh, I'd pick Lana Del Rey out of that. I, she, I agree. She's yeah. really interesting. She's her. St- she's so all over the map on her styles and everything. Mm-hmm. She's very talented. Gorgeous voice. Yep. With the popularity of In Sync or Nicki Minaj, I'm a little surprised, but not too shocked that they didn't win no. one. Um, uh, but quality. I'm with. I'm with you guys on Lana Del Rey. Yeah, uh, she's 100%, great. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Blue jeans. Oh, I could listen to that song all day. There, uh, right yeah. now, there is a group of of younger. I can, they've all actually been around for a little while now. Of younger women artists, solo artists that are just amazing. Yeah. I mean, yeah. they are just fabulous. You know, mm-hmm. Billie Eilish and Lord and all these these women are just amazing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I don't think Kiss wanted a Grammy. 
I don't. I, I feel like it would almost go against the Chris, the Kiss <laughs> brand, and, and and I say that as somebody who who's seen Kiss, yeah, and likes right. Kiss, and everything. I, I it feels like almost and there. There's no shock there actually that they haven't won yeah, one. But. Yeah. Um, then they were offered it, and they said no thanks. <laughs> that, that'd be hilarious. Uh, Katy Perry, Journey, the Jonas Brothers, and Jennifer Lopez. Hmm, I'd Ooh. say Katy Perry and Journey. Yeah, yeah, a little yeah. surprising. Jennifer Lopez is very surprising to me. Yeah, because yeah. she she's had. I mean, in she's terms had a of a lot of them, but financial success like... or not financial, but uh, uh, chart success. You know how big they yeah. were. A lot of really big songs, and I, and that's kind of what the Grammys go towards. So yeah. yeah. But but talent wise, there's been some questions there, mm-hmm. <laughs> and maybe that has something to do with it yeah, too. Yeah. So yeah, man, she is getting sh- uh, Jennifer Lopez has had a pretty solid career and has not had a whole lot of bumps on the road outside of like dating stuff. Not nothing necessarily with her entertainment, her right, skill yeah. set. It's been mostly stuff like off the field things with her. Yeah, um, w- th- she released a trailer for a, a possible movie, a biopic movie on her. And she is getting shredded like I've never seen her get shredded before. Ooh. She she is supposed post, apparently she plays herself in it, and she's doing a horrible job. Oh no! Yeah, yeah. Like I went, I wa- I haven't gotten to watch it yet, but I I've never heard of a uh, like. There's few times in my career in my life that I've heard of a trailer getting shredded as bad as it has, and with somebody who is so well liked. Jennifer Lopez is yeah. pretty well liked, pretty you yeah. know, and she's a good actress. She is a very good actor. Yeah. She's a good actor. Well, that, yeah. That's so weird. Anyway, yeah, yeah. 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 So we'll, so we'll see doing what a comes. Terrible up. job playing yourself. <laughs> That's rough. That's weird. That is rough. What does that say, I guess? I don't know. And the top seven are Guns N' Roses, Diana Ross, Demi Lovato, Bob Marley, The Beach Boys, Backstreet Boys, and ABBA. Uh, Wow. wow. That's a list. That's the Beach list. Boys? Really? Yeah. That's yeah. that's almost stunning. Yeah. The wow. Beach Boys and Diana Ross. Diana, Diana Ross, yeah. Diana Ross is the most surprising name on this list yeah. for me. Yeah. No, I think you're right. Uh, yeah. Wow. Oh, amazing. Not only what she did with Supremes, but her great solo career, too. I mean, my goodness. Um, the the Beach Boys is, is almost, it probably would be number two if it wasn't for uh, Diana Ross. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That is very surprising to yes, me. Yes, it is. Uh, in part because they were such a, um, uh, like a, a radio-friendly band. Exactly. And, and yeah. oftentimes yeah. a lot of that is where the Grammys go, like oh, you yeah, were saying. Oh, yeah, yeah. ABBA is another really example. Great. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> The fickle, the fickle Grammy Awards, man, I tell you. <laughs> if, if Diana Ross doesn't have a Grammy, how, how credible can the Grammys really be? <laughs> I'm mean, sorry. I'm what so- are we doing yeah, with our yeah. award shows? Doing- oh, wait. Who cares? Nicely nicely done, (laughs) Melissa. Nice. We will take a time out. And and yes, who cares? We'll take a time out. We'll come back and we'll go over our our middle age quiz. And we want you to call up and give us your numbers. (laughs) Give us your uh, test results, everybody, at 715 424 2600. We'll call up and have some more. uh, Call up and we'll have some more fun when we come back on the morning show. Welcome back, everyone. Morning show here at WFHR. Seth, Melissa, and James here with you, taking you through your morning here at WFHR. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Let's ooh, have ooh. some fun. We're going to go over our test results for the middle age quiz in just a moment. Looking forward to that. But first, let's talk emojis. 118 new emojis have been revealed, which will be coming to your phone sometime this spring. Oh the uh, <laughs> <laughs> So bitter. So bitter. The I don't adi- need more. I haven't learned all the ones I have. I'm with you on this, though. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, I, I thought for just to uh, do some homework for this uh, segment, I went and was looking last night through my emojis. I, I got bored and, and stopped <laughs> like before I got to the end God, of the list. God, look at the. Oh. I, I, I really did. I was like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I can't keep going through this. There were so many, and, and there were so many I've never even seen before. Well, like, and I, I'm just very grateful that there is a favorites thing. That yes. it keeps the ones you use the most. Yeah, right. Because mm-hmm. that's all I need. That's all I you need. need. Like Fifteen. Mm-hmm. That's it. Does Good. any does has anybody done this before? Where you're curious to see, do they have an emoji for that? And you just type the word, yeah. just to see if an emoji pops yep. up. Okay. I have done that right. many Good. times. Good. I thought yeah. I was alone on that one. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there, this is a uh, 118 new emojis will be revealed. Um, they include a phoenix, a lime and brown mushroom, and a broken chain. Okay. There's also two new smile emojis, one that's shaking its head from side to side and another that's shaking its head up and down. Wait, I already have 
want those. Uh, oh. oh, well, the update might have already taken place for some people. Okay, uh, there you go. And, and uh, for Android users, sooner than iPhone users, I believe. Um, there's also. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I kind of love that laugh. There's also a series of gender-neutral family emojis, basically silhouette versions of the existing family emojis that have various combinations of genders. Oh, well, that's cool. I never use any of those. That is cool, but I never use yeah. them. What do you use them for? Yeah, yeah. that's a good question. Yes, very What do you good use question. a lot of them for? I don't oh, know. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're so- I mean, sometimes I like to just throw in random ones for yeah. funsies, but then also it clogs up my favorites list. So. Right, yeah. Uh, um uh, go ahead and finish. I've got a. I've I was got just going to. I was got an ex, 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 existential question. I was thinking about <laughs> for um uh, for a while there. My friends and I, when we first all got cell phones, would just uh, type each other <laughs> random emojis, just like a, a nonsense. And you'd be there trying to like, what was he trying to tell me? Bear claw. Uh, yeah. <laughs> can opener. What the? Yeah. Do a bunch of food emojis and have a food fight with each other. Yes, yeah. There you go. Oh, I like that. That's a good idea. Oh, that's a good idea. No, I, I. So you know, we were talking about all these emojis. Where do they come from? Oh, yeah. Who yeah. decides who, these who things? Decides are they birthed? Them. What is it, or hatched? <laughs> I, I don't know though. It's weird. Is it a lab AI. experiment? Babies of AI. Oh yeah. man. It's kind of shadowy and, and odd. I don't know. I you know it, it seems a little. I don't know. Me, it's a little weird. Seth, um, he, uh, Pelican comes and drops off the emojis right at the window, and, <laughs> and you just take them out of it's, the blanket. Oh, is that how it's that the works? Kale yard, guys. Okay. Yeah, yes. it's not the cabbage patch. It's the kale yard. <laughs> the kale, kale yard. yard. Nice, <laughs> nicely done. <laughs> is there a kale emoji? Mm, oh, there's bound there to be. Should be. There, 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 there should be. Not, yeah. There should be. I guess. The other 108 um, uh, emojis are just additional versions of other people walking, running, kneeling, and things like that. Uh, um, <laughs> these allow them to face uh, the opposite direction, which also supporting uh, all three emoji gender options, as well as five skin tones. <laughs> can, can I get nothing but emojis that are the, you remember the AOL guy? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who's basically like a, like a sign person, yes, except yeah. they were yellow. Can I just I get like nothing that. but AOL emojis? Yeah. yeah. I want Clippy back. Can we get oh, Clippy? Oh, Clippy. Oh, Clippy. Yeah. Clippy? The Microsoft Word? Yeah, the little, little the paper clip. Oh, Clippy, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, now I remember. Yeah. Flying, flying toasters. We need flying yeah. toasters yeah, back, flying man. Flying toasters, yeah. Do, do people even know what a screensaver is anymore? <laughs> oh, God. I, do, do remember screensavers, everyone? <laughs> I um I, I I like these emojis and I, I think it's kind of fun, but I still have yet to they have yet to come up with my skin tone. Like they, they there's certain tones. You know, there's, there's some tones. It's so hard, man. They they can't have them all. They can't have them all. Like the, nope. the it's funny though. I like I, to see them come. Out. All of a sudden, there's a bunch of people coming in here. All right, let's take pictures and, yeah, and, yeah, and the, samples here. Let's find out. I get this guy's skin bunch, tone. Got a bunch of paint swatches. <laughs> yeah. You know, with uh, matching it uh, <laughs> somewhere between mocha and beige. And yeah, know, what is like this? Off yeah. tan. What is that? <laughs> Is this putty? Putty? Is that what this looks like? <laughs> we'll go with beige. Well, uh, let's go ahead and wrap up our middle age quiz, our middle right. age quiz that we all took. Uh, if you want to call up and give us your results, 715-424-2600. Call us up right and join the conversation. Um, Melissa, did you have those numbers? Or I know I had mine up, yes. but I'll see what you add. Yep. I added mine up. I have seven. Oh, oh wow. Okay. All right. Uh, I was at seven myself. Oh gosh, okay. I'm 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 older than you guys. Then oh, really? I had nine. Okay. Oh, nine. really? Hey, so I'm definitely middle aged. According to my ranking system, we're all still in the same range. Oh, so okay. I split uh, right. it with one to five. Mm? Chin hairs are sprouting. <laughs> Five to ten, you're realizing middle age is something you'll grow out of. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Ten to fifteen, your aches and pains are real, and had you known you'd live this long, you would have taken better care of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> they get that enshrined. That's very good. Yes. <laughs> That deserves uh, a winning belt. Yeah, oh, it does. God, that That's was good, good yeah. Melissa. Nicely done, <laughs> Melissa. Let's go ahead and take a call. What's on your mind? Well, I guess I beat all you guys. <laughs> I, mean, I looked at about 10. Oh, all so, okay. So, okay. Yeah, all right. My contains are real. Everything you know, <laughs> weather change. You know, nice. we feel it. So. It's, it's better than the alternative. It, yeah, that's it's true. always better that's than the true. alternative. We'll take it. We'll take it. Uh, but, you know, I would, I would have to say I'm middle aged because I'm at that point. I'm 51. So, you know, mm-hmm. you're at that, I'm at that point. I mean, you're not far behind you. So. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm creeping up on no, you. No, no. I'm, I'm, I'm coming up on you hey, right up there. Hey, 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 Kevin, 50 is the new yeah. 40. <laughs> Does that make you feel better? 
Do you feel better now? No, I'm still feeling old. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't have the effect it used to. It doesn't no, have the, no. they used it too much. They've used it too much. The Merriam-Webster Dictionary says the, that middle age is the period of life between 45 and 64. So technically, I'm not even there yet, guys. Huh? No, huh? no. Although you're, 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 you're really getting there close and fast, I'll have to say. Okay. Yeah. Hey, I, I don't. <laughs> I don't, asked you. <laughs> I don't know if this applies for women or not, but I feel like for guys, middle age is whenever you start to lose your hair. Like it doesn't matter what age you are. No idea. You're 21. It doesn't matter. As soon matter. as you start seeing more hairs going, you're like, oh god, no. That's that's when it hits you. That's when it hits you. Well, I think it's, I think you hit middle age is when you're, you're losing your hair, but then you can't get off the floor either. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh no, I can't, I can't get, get up. up. Yeah. You see your hairs on the floor, you go to pick them up, and you can't get back up. Then, and then your, you know you're there. Yeah. 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 And you're just sitting there on your floor with your gray hairs and your balding scalp. And, 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 and you're, why? Why? But it's still better than the alternative. <laughs> still better. Need a perspective on that. Great call, brother. We appreciate you. Have a great day. All right, guys. You guys have a great day, too. Thank you. Appreciate uh, you. Kevin. Best listeners in radio. And, Melissa, thank you so much for that li- uh, doing that. Your that was categories awesome. were awesome. Yeah, your categories yeah. were great. That was really good. I'm here for you. We'll take a quick commercial break. We'll come back after our local and state news right here at WFHR, locally grown radio. Welcome back, everyone. Morning show here at WFHR, locally grown radio. Melissa, Seth, and James here with you. We hope you're having a great Wednesday out there, everyone. Thanks for joining us. We've had a fun show. I want to send a big shout-out to all of our listeners calling up. We've had some mm-hmm. great calls today. Oh, yeah. Big shout-out to our friends at Quality Post Printing, getting your words out here in Rapids with our Wicked Awesome Word Wednesday. It's been a fun show. <laughs> and uh, we'll, we'll, we're going to talk a little uh, um, pizza places now. Uh, pizza. And one of these is the That Ain't Right story. Uh, <laughs> or are both of them That Ain't Right stories? Uh, could be. Could be. Um, Chuck E. Cheese is releasing its oh, own dear. cookbook. Oh, no. Mm. Oh, no. It's called the Chuck E. Cheese and Friends Party Cookbook. <laughs> It'll be out March 19th. You can pre order it on Amazon for 23 bucks. 23 bucks for what? One recipe? <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> pizza? How to make pizza creepy, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the creepy pizza. <laughs> I love that. Your own animatronics. Oh. So what you do is you, you you put your pizza in the oven and then you pull out your animatronics. Yes, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> no. The mouse himself is credited as the author. His full name is, of course, Charles Entertainment Cheese, for it, those that inter- did not know. I didn't know the E was for entertainment. That's sad, but that, true. That is really lame. I'm sorry. That is re- that, <laughs> that feels kind of lame. Uh, but, but he opted for the more recognizable Chuck E as his pen name. <laughs> It's full of recipes for parties and large groups, so mainly children's birthday parties. But if you're a true fan, there's no reason you couldn't use them for a rehearsal dinner or maybe your company's next shareholders meeting. Uh, (laughs) I love that. It's 128 pages and features more well-known characters like uh, the singing dog Jasper T. Jowls and the animatronic chicken Helen Henney. I didn't know they all had names. I didn't they either. Do. I didn't either. They yeah. do. It's not clear how many of their actual menu items are in it, but recipes include things like Kansas City barbecue chicken pizza, Halloween themed uh, pigs in a blanket called mummy dogs. <laughs> I, I like that. That's good. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, that's, not, that's not bad. And a rainbow marble unicorn cake. <laughs> They, I'm there for that. That one sounds really good. Yeah, <laughs> Unicorns. They say the new cookbook is meant to extend the Chuck E. Cheese experience beyond the actual restaurants. <laughs> so it's it's kind of like going to Chuck E. Cheese without having to see the animatronics. The it's, weird, it's, yeah, broken yeah. animatronics, yeah. Shout out to Chuck E. Cheese still being relevant. I, I'm, I'm, I'm with you, man. I mean, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Whether you go there or not, whether you like them or not, I mean, I think things like that Here, okay, I, I have a bit of trivia for this. Chuck E. Cheese, it's one of my all-time favorite bits of uh, of pop culture yeah. uh, of trivia, okay? Mm-hmm. So Chuck E. Cheese's was, was, a, uh, was founded by a man named Nolan Bushnell. <laughs> And if anyone else there knows anything about computer about video game history, it sounds familiar. Nolan Bushnell was the man who founded Atari. Oh, okay, that's why. Really? Wow. He's the one who in, invented Pong. That was his. Whoa. He was him and his team Whoa. that did that. And he was uh, he he was on the first wave of the first big uh, video game wave. 
Wow. And then he was kicked out of the company. Uh, oh, and then okay. and he founded Chuck E. Cheese after that. That was that was his next gig, basically. And then I think he got kicked out of that, too. So he's <laughs> he's one of those guys. You know, he, yeah, he yeah. founds a lot of things, but he really doesn't do well yeah, running yeah, the man. businesses after that kind yeah, of thing. Yeah. Wow, is that interesting? Yep, that is very fascinating. I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. Way man. to go, big brain. Yeah, yeah I'm telling nicely you. done. Nicely done. Useless. I, uh, I, but I, I, um, I, I value uh, businesses like this being able to stick around, and I yeah. admire it so much. Um, uh, locally here, and while they don't advertise with us, I, I stand by when we say buy local, support local. We're not just talking about people that advertise with us. That'd be very easy to do, and that'd be something that every other radio station does. Yeah, not us. Um, like. Skate City in Wisconsin, right around the outside of Wisconsin Rapids. That's still popping. It's still going. Still going. Yep. Still doing its thing. Um, that Great. is amazing. That is awesome. A, a big shout out to the everybody over at Skate City and mm-hmm. keeping things running over there. That is pretty cool. They got a Facebook page in case you want to know more. Go ahead and check them out on mm-hmm. Facebook. Uh, and, and a big credit to them for yeah. not only staying relevant, sticking around, and being able to do that, uh, do that but in, in this day and age to be able to do that is yep. so impressive to me. Mm-hmm. Um, this is an interesting one. So we're going to continue the pizza talk with Pizza Hut. Um, pizza Hut in Canada put up a sign to announce that they were only open for takeaway, uh, takeout and delivery. Or is they call it in Canada? Takeaway. <laughs> <laughs> um, and and we, we've been through a little of this here in Wisconsin Rapids. Our own Pizza Hut just recently moved and everything. Mm-hmm. So yep. I, I think this is something through the, uh, throughout the Pizza Huts around the country that is going on right now. Uh, and, and when that kind of thing happens, how do you let your, you know, your, your uh, customers know? You put it on a sign. You know, you usually you put it on a sign or something like mm-hmm. that. So they have up on their sign, due to unforeseen um, circum- circumcisions, the <laughs> Dining room will be closed this evening. Sorry for the inconvenience. <laughs> what? What happened? Oh, what oh ha- no! What, what, oh what, dear! Did, did I, did I, are getting hazard pay. Did, did I say something weird? What? What yeah. did I do? No. <laughs> That's hilarious. That, that hazard pay is so good. <laughs> we can't skate past that, man. But hazard, that's a good line. <laughs> Due to an unforeseen circumcision, you know. Wow, you know, we have to go to this brisk today. You know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Natu- when did Pizza Hut have meat cutters? <laughs> oh wow! Oh, oh, oh that, that we got to walk away from the mic on that. Yeah, one. That's that a one. Drop. That's, that's a that's a, a little light, a late night there, Melissa. That, that, would, that would hit close to home. Yeah, that, that, getting a little salty. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a little cold. <laughs> <laughs> didn't expect it. I didn't, I didn't think Melissa went below the belt like that. <laughs> Naturally, oh. social media had a lot of fun with this. Uh, one person joked, dinner has been cut short. Another oh, said, sh- uh, guess they're making some staffing cuts. <laughs> And a local weren't that bad. <laughs> and a local hospital jumped in to say that they could handle the circumstances. They could handle it. They <laughs> Wait, we got it for you. <laughs> you guys don't need to do this. Let us do it. <laughs> the Pizza Hut also had a sense of humor about it. They apologized, confirmed that it was an autocorrect issue, uh, and put out put up a new sign that emphasized the whole <laughs> circumstances. <laughs> in quotes, circumstances. In, 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 in yeah. big uh, big capital letters and everything. Uh, the joys of English. They also uh. hyped a new. Five dollar promotion and jokingly added, "quote No tip required." No. Oh. <laughs> oh lordy, that's I mean that you can't buy that kind of advertising. No, no. The, see, I mean that's, <laughs> that's you know leaning into it in that sense was awesome. They, they yes, really decided the to right move. they they did the right thing there. Yeah, Kevin that, agrees. That, that's too good. That's too good. We're gonna take a time out. We'll be back for more in the morning show here at WFHR. Welcome back, everyone. Morning show here at WFHR, locally grown radio. Got your host, James J. behind the mic. I am joined by Melissa Kay. Good morning. And Seth Hatbacker. Good morning. We got a Then Ain't Right story here for you, and we got some more fun we'll get to. I'm going to take you right to the top of the hour with some stuff here. And uh, I get doing this in the summer, but uh, in the in New, New England, in the dead of winter, I'm not sure about it. I don't know. But then again, crime does not have brain, you know, brain cells <laughs> or anything like that. No. We go to our feature That Ain't Right story here. A 35-year-old guy named Travis Jones got arrested in West Haven, Connecticut Monday night after stealing a truck filled with $30,000 worth of ice cream. Ah, what? He, he, he literally stole an ice cream truck? Mm-hmm. Oh, my gosh. It was a delivery truck for an Indian ice cream brand called uh, uh, Shahi Kofi. 
<laughs> uh, the driver was parked outside a business when Travis jumped in and took off with it. Cops started canvassing the area and eventually spotted the truck speeding down a highway on its on, on its way out of town. They pulled Travis over, arrested him without incident. He's facing charges of first degree larceny. Mm-hmm. He ain't coming out anytime soon. Uh, so uh, this is clearly a that ain't right story, a knucklehead stealing, you know, a great yeah, right, 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 all that. But <laughs> if you are going to be, if if you are doing this. I I love the I I have a hard time imagining that he knew that there was ice cream in the truck. Mm. Uh, it feels like one of those things where he does it and just figures, well, there's got to be something worthwhile back there, and and then he finds out what's ba- <laughs> and then he finds out what's back there, and so then he tries to like make his money off of this by like running around neighborhoods <laughs> selling the ice cream. I love I. <laughs> I love the idea. He grabs the truck, so it's thirty thousand dollars. But as as the ice cream melts, the value goes yes, down. Yeah. He's got a little ticker on the thing there. So, oh no, it's twenty nine, milkshakes. twenty eight milkshakes. <laughs> Get your frosty chocolate milkshakes now, please. <laughs> um, I, I also I chocolate feel chocolate soup. Anybody? <laughs> it does feel like one of those things too, where um, it, you know, okay, yeah, you shouldn't steal; it's all wrong and everything. But you go back and you look at the back of that truck, and you instantly become a ten-year-old kid, yes. like, oh, all this ice cream, <laughs> yes. oh. it's all mine. Uh, um, a lot of people don't realize, and they didn't uh, continue on in the article about this. They caught Travis because he had a brain freeze. Oh, <laughs> brain freeze had to pull over. Had to pull over. Yeah, wah, it, it, wah. It was bad. That was bad. That was really bad. And I don't care. Speaking, I, of, <laughs> speaking of sound effects, I need to add. Yes, you do. Yes, we do need that one. And, and a button that. on your side. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. I can't. I can't. <laughs> we do need a button. We need the buttons over there. Um, yeah, that ain't right. That, no, that ain't is right. not, that that is is not, not right. right. That ain't right story. Mm. All right. Um, let's get to uh, this one right here, too. So uh, dry January ends tomorrow. Uh, a, a dietitian broke down the two biggest tips when it comes to choosing a healthier beverage. Also, be, uh, al- always be looking for drinks that are low in sugar and higher in health ingredients. Okay. So uh, for those that I, I believe everybody understands what dry January is, you take off the month, you're not drinking or anything. Um, and then some people are kind of hitting back on it starting February. Starting tomorrow. tomorrow. All right, yeah. So they were looking at uh, the healthiest types of alcoholic drinks. Um, and I feel like this is a bit of a that ain't right story. I mean, I, I kind I'm, of feel I'm like. I'm with you on yeah, this. But, yeah, the healthy alcohol. Okay. Just to get the information out there, uh, hard seltzers. Most are just sparkling water in a clear liquor, like tequila or vodka. Just look for ones with no added sugar. Okay. Mm-hmm. Red wine. <sighs> I'm just thinking how that's going to taste. Oh uh, wow! Uh, I, I I don't get the I don't get the seltzer Ooh. thing. But I, I I never got seltzer to begin with like, without alcohol. Yeah, if, you, if you don't want something super sweet, a seltzer is not a bad choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I was in uh, grade school, I loved the New York seltzers. Right. I I had a, a stretch there where I drank tons and tons yeah. of those. The thing I'm thinking of though is the alcohol taste. Because that you're not covering that at all at this point. It's just yeah. straight whatever you know, whatever alcohol they use. Usually vodka for those things. So yeah, the vodka doesn't really have much of a taste. It depends on how good the vodka is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> red no wine connoisseur. Yeah, <laughs> red wine. No, on... Red wine, however. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah, there we go. Now we go. It's chock full of antioxidants, uh, which can reduce inflammation and help prevent cancer and heart disease. Mm-hmm. Yep. In moderation. Unless yes, <laughs> nicely done. Unless you are allergic to tannins, mm. and red all red wine has tannins in it, and that can make you feel lethy. So there are quite a few, um, uh, quite a few studies on wine that have been done in, in recent years yep. about this and everything. Uh, and it, I think it's always kind of cool when things that we kind of weren't sure if they were old wise tales or not, mm-hmm. and there is actual fact and science behind right. it that yep. it worked out that way. It's interesting. Thank you, Italy. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Bloody Marys. Uh, tomato juice typically doesn't have a lot of sugar. Plus, what other alcoholic drink comes with uh, celery and uh, you know a, a dinner? A, a whole dinner. Yeah. Yeah. A whole Depending on where you go, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can get a whole bunch of, of uh, garnishes on that. We got to well, do... There's some places that do like a Bloody Mary bar where you can build your own. Yep, mm-hmm. that's true. Because mm-hmm. that I get pickled green beans and I don't have to have a Bloody Mary. <laughs> I've been thinking about this and I've been thinking about different things that we could do here at WFHR to support our local businesses and that. And and with, we don't get a chance. We don't have a lot of advertisements with our bars. And I don't know if anybody's noticed, but there's a lot of bars in Wisconsin. Um, there is. It, it feels like an untapped market. It feels like, you know. Untapped market? Oh, my gosh. 
Oh, I'll be here all week. I'll be here all week. <laughs> Tip your waiters. Tip your waiters. <laughs> yeah. Uh, when, when it comes to that, I think that while we couldn't do it uh, like a Bloody Mary contest on the air while we're drinking Bloody Marys or anything, <laughs> what we could do with the Bloody Mary thing is the most creative Bloody Mary. We could do that. Oh, All we got to yeah. do is look at them then. All we got to do is look at them and hear a description of them and everything. There you go. I, I think that would be a fun thing to do to get all Not of a bad our, idea. As yeah, many customers it, call in and tell us where they've had their favorite one. Yeah. 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 Uh, we'll have to work on that. We'll you know, work yeah. behind the scenes on that one. I think that'd be kind of a fun <laughs> Ashley? thing. Ashley? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and hot toddies. Uh, it, 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 it's hot water, fresh lemon juice, honey, and whiskey about as healthy as it gets. Yes. Quote, and I, I put quotations around healthy, of course. <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah. Um, um, As in not horrible, yeah. <laughs> I, I, is that is one it of the, not high in sugar? Yeah, there you go. I've never had a hot toddy, and I also I, I think that's in part because I can't say uh, I couldn't imagine going to somebody and saying, "Yeah, I'd like a hot toddy." I, I can't do it. I can't do it. There's probably very few bars that you could even order that in. To be oh yeah, honest. yeah. That's more. You know, how many of them have hot water? That's like a mm-hmm. supper club thing. So I, I tell yeah. you, when yeah. when I was uh, the bar manager at the uh, Duluth Entertainment Convention Center. Uh, we would have in the wintertime, we would have special, that would be something we would offer, like mm-hmm. for like specific uh, events. Specialty mm. drinks. So we would have like like a hot brandy or a hot toddy or some, or, or, a, Tom, or a Tom and Jerry's kind of thing, you uh, know. Yeah, yeah. Yep. But that we would have to specifically set up for it, though, of course, because like you said, you need the hot water and, mm-hmm. and you need all the extra ingredients. So, mm-hmm. but yeah, otherwise, yeah, you're probably not going to find it. We need a palate cleanser. Let's get to our good stories of the day. And it kicks off today with our Midday Magazine. Join us from 3 to 4 for that. Uh, we have uh, Tom Derry and maybe Pete with us from the Wisconsin Ooh. Rabbit's Elks Lodge, number 698. Woo. We're going to talk about their fish fries and uh, talk about the lodge a bit. We don't get to do that enough. Um, no, yeah. Their fish fry is so good. So good. Good stuff. And we appreciate our uh, all of our uh, members of and our Wisconsin Rabbits Elks Lodge so much. Uh, looking forward to hanging out with them a little bit later. Uh-huh. On. And uh, Kaylee Mengel going to join us. from our. Uh, she is the Public Health Policy and Communication Coordinator with our Wood County Health Department. Oh, nice. nice. Very good. We're going to talk about the Wood County Housing Summit coming up and a couple yeah. of other things with Kayla. Uh, looking forward oh, to exciting. that. Very important. Really good conversations right there. Uh, Join us uh, for some sports on your radio dial today. Uh, A little bit later at 8.30 tonight, Milwaukee Bucks basketball, Milwaukee at Portland. It's a West Coast game, so that's why the late times start. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, 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 I'll be sleeping. Mm, <laughs> I am going to be listening to that. I cannot wait. Uh, it, it, that's going to be good. That's going to be a good game. Cannot wait for that one. Maybe I'll tune in. I'll actually probably be driving home from rehearsal. That's true. There you go. And it is a Wednesday. We know what that means. It's time for Bingo. Bingo. Bingo, Bingo was his name-o. Mm-hmm. And... Speaking of our Elks Lodge, that's where it's going to be tonight yeah. at uh, Lodge number 693, 430 West Jackson that Street. every Wednesday? That's every Wednesday at 5 o'clock. This is when the doors open. Bingo starts at 630. Go have some fun and support the Elks and all the great things they do here for us. Enjoy bingo, everybody. It's a mm-hmm. lot of fun. Uh, Join the Buckley Baldwin Post 2534 for an evening of food, drink, and fellowship for their Friday night open house. This is taking place at the Donald J. Knuth Memorial Hall at 2711 Redden Road, right in Wisconsin Rapids. From 6 to 8, there'll be a shuttle bus that'll take you from the Hotel Mead and Conference Center to the Donald J. Knuth. Uh, a big shout out to our friends at the VFW. Enjoy, and I hope it's a great night for everybody. Mm-hmm. And uh, speaking of that. Speaking of veterans, mm-hmm. yes. Uh, today is the deadline, everyone. If you want to participate in Valentine's for Wisconsin Veterans Homes, uh, those are for the three Veterans Homes in Wisconsin at Chippewa Falls, King, and Union Grove. Today is the day. They ask to mail those cards in so they can get them to those homes by February 14th. Please do not include candy, food, or snacks, uh, of course, due to allergies or dietary restrictions. Send them to Wisconsin Department of Veterans Affairs. Attention, Veteran Valentine's, P.O. Box 7843, Madison, Wisconsin, 53707. Do it today. Yeah. And thank you to everybody that already has. Uh, We really appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Um, It goes above and beyond, and we appreciate people doing that. Speaking of above and beyond, uh, in the six to seven years I have been in this chair, I have never taken a vacation. I have never missed a day of work, and I have um, been very fortunate to be able to do those things. Yesterday was the first time I have had to uh, check out. Uh, I, I was not able to do, uh, stick around and do Midday Magazine. Um, had a kidney stone. It was just uh, too much pain. Uh, I was able to do that because of Seth and Pam and the great work that they did covering my back. So thank you so much to you two. You are my good story of the day, the team that I have here, the support that I have from Melissa and Ashley and all of you guys. Chuck, 
Pretty good guy. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah we, you know, Chuck knows how I feel about yeah, him. Uh, yeah, we, uh, <laughs> I, I'm so blessed, and I feel so fortunate for that. So I appreciate the team around here, and I want to send a special shout-out to our, our friends at Save for the Arts. Um, mm-hmm. and, and, of course, Alice in Dairyland, who we were we will get on the air with us very soon. Thank you to them for understanding. Couldn't have been cooler. Couldn't yep. have been nicer about all this. It's, I'm absolutely. beating myself up about it. Nobody else is. I'm he the only just, one doing it. Stop doing that, first yeah. of all. Could you, could you please just get, stop? <laughs> you can take a day. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm being very calm and collected here because otherwise I'd be wringing his neck. But other than that, you know, we'll, we'll go to we're going to break on it. Your as... side of the table. Well done. Uh, I did want to mention this. Our friends at Wisconsin Rapids Community Media are presenting the 2024 Mayoral Forum with candidates Tom Muse, Nicholas Palmquist, Preston Seitz, and Matt Zacker. Uh, all going to be there February 6th at 6 o'clock. This will be live from the uh, council chambers. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is important. Encourage every citizen to take this in yes and Mm -hmm. uh we are hoping to have them on the air with us i know that pam sent out invites to all of them we're looking forward to hopefully having them join us as we get ready and closer and closer to these spring elections absolutely yes the primary is on february 20th yeah it's Mm -hmm. coming up yeah yeah just yeah right around right around the corner boy uh, february 20th has always been a dark day for me (laughs) but but it it, it, it got even more like tension added to it now it's got even more um and i just want to send one more big shout out to special olympics um Mm -hmm. a, a big thank you to them and all the work that they do and go and take in the polar plunge uh where i mean this has got to be one of the seth was saying this during the break it's got to be one of the easiest ones it <laughs> is it's like it's gonna be so nice if you so if, if you haven't done it before now's the day now's yeah. the do it this year let's get like a record turnout for it uh, this mm-hmm. might be the first polar plunge that you need suntan lotion yeah for, right that you might... <laughs> <laughs> go nice. ahead nice go <laughs> ahead and support the special olympics and get out there and plunge wisconsin rapids polar plunge going on at 9 30 at Anchor Bay Bar and Grill at 3460 North Beeren Avenue. Uh, live music, food and beverages, hot cocoa, merchandise, photo moments all going on. From 930 to 1130 will be registration and plunge your check-in. And at noon, the plunging begins. The plunging mm. begins. And Southbound starts at 1. Yeah, be sure to check them out. Yeah. Everybody. Great band. We love our friends over at Southbound. Good band. Uh, you can find out more by going to their Facebook page. Just type in your search bar, Special Olympics Wisconsin. And, of course, you can find out more at specialolympicswisconsin.org. That's specialolympicswisconsin.org. Uh, thank you so much to the all of you who called in today, best listeners in the radio. Big thank you to Quality Plus Printing, giving us our Wicked Awesome Word of Wednesday. Shout out to Phil and the gang over there. Uh, find out more about their printing uh, needs, or your printing needs, and ways they can help you out with that at 3515 8th Street South in Wisconsin and Rapids. brand new digital printer, mm-hmm. too. Yeah. Go check that out. Great show today, you two. You guys have a good one. You too, man. Yes, you too. I'm glad you're feeling better. Yeah, thank Same you. Same here. <laughs> We will talk to you soon and later. Be good to each other. It's WFHR. Oh, you go ahead and take a cat. WFHR, Wisconsin Rapids, 1320 AM and W248DE broadcasting at 97.5.